Hi and welcome to this new video. Um, this is an introduction video. I'm going to make a series of step-by-step uh, -step tutorials how to apply the AI air-to-air -air dispatcher and the AI air-to-air -air GCI CAP modules. So when you browse to the home side of the Moose framework here, and you go a bit down, you see here the AI controlling classes. And here you see the AI air-to-air -air defenses. So when you click on this, you see a web page coming up. And this web page um, provides you with a quick, a quick start guide, which actually raises a number of questions to get the module mechanisms in your head. These, these kind of questions make you think on what do I want to do and how do I set up a working uh, defense mechanism. Then you've got two classes. The first class is the air-to-air -air dispatcher and the second class is the air-to-air -air GCI cap. The base class of the air-to-air -air defense system is a dispatcher and the GCI cap module adds logic upon the dispatcher. It actually uses the dispatcher modules to actually build a complete air-to-air -air defense system and doing that using the mission editor editor functions. So when I click on this I'm directed here and then I see a complete manual with screenshots. This um, documentation is in progress. I'm going to um, from time to time jump here and uh, show you some material that you can use for reference. But what I really want to do now is to help you with some scripting exercise and to help you how to define and develop a working air-to-air -air defense uh, mechanism. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to do this using the GCI cap. Yeah, that's the first module that's really important for you to understand. And then the next one is going to be the dispatcher that really allows you to do more complicated things, but also requires you to do some Lua developments to a larger extent. So let's start. So this is an empty mission. And the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to define which air bases will form part of my air-to-air -air defense system. When you go to the documentation, and I think I need to explain a bit more on this here because it's a bit short. Um, the first thing that I want you to do is to configure uh, the air bases. And basically what you need to do is to color the air bases on, in red or blue to the coalition that you want to build a defense system for. So let's do this in the mission editor then. So I want to get Groom Lake here, right? So let me click on this and you just go here and do red, right? And I would like to get Pahuta Mesa Airstrip or Pahuta, I don't know how you pronounce it, also part of the red coalition. Great. Now, the next thing, the next thing that is to do is to build the early warning radar network. Basically, the early warning radar network can be built by ground units, ground EWR units, or airborne units like an AWACS, which is modeled in this example here. So when I'm when you go into my mission here and I plan it out, I think I would like to put an EWR here and I'm gonna put one here. So what I do is I go to the vehicles, I select Russia for example, and I now, that's important, I make a name like a prefix um, that will be used to select which EWR units will be in my mission from, from the script. So there's a link from the name that I'm defining here to the script that I will eventually uh, write down. So here I'm going to build an air to ground, sorry, uh, an EWR system using the EWR 1L13 of Russia. Great. So I do this. Let me make two of them and I paste them here. Important again is the name. EWR red, that's the name, the prefix of the EWR network that I'm going to apply within my script. Right, 
now that I have defined that, and I suggest you have a read through this material here. Then the next step is to define airplane or helicopter groups with late activation switched on and place them above the air bases to define squadrons. So when we get back into our mission, what I would like to do now is I would like to place some airplane templates that I'm going to give a name and for the moment I'm just going to give a very simple name like squadron uh, red and then maybe a tag 001 this name is important and actually what is important is the prefix here squadron red because this will be used to put the link between the mission editor objects that I have defined and the script that will work and govern the air-to-air -air defense system so as a, as was explained I need to place the object and it's going to be not an, um, a cast plane let me put that as a cap plane and I'm going to select something fancy like an issue 33 and I'm going to put it above Groom Lake it can just be a floating airplane nothing special and I can put late activation on right and I can specify a height, it doesn't really matter, really, right? Um, just place it within this parameter, this is important, in the middle, right? And then you need to select, no, then you can customize this template according to your preferences in terms of the skill, so you can do high, excellent or random, right? I'm going to select random for the moment. You can select a payload, like this one. This will be the weapons that it is carrying and you can select the skin and select fuel and all this stuff all of these uh, options that you select here will be preserved uh, when the air-to-air -air defense system will spawn an airplane from groom lake afb you can do the following as well so you can do i don't want one um, you know one airplane in the squadron in groom lake i would like to have two or three you can just zoom in and place them a little bit like this yeah squadron red 002 this is the only thing that matters is this name nothing else right i can do now again an su-33 but i would like to have another payload here and i would like to have another skin maybe yeah so now what will happen is when an airplane will spawn from groom lake fb um, what will happen is it will spawn one of the two airplanes it will actually randomize which one it will spawn okay i also had in pahute same thing so i'm gonna put a template there okay cool and i'm going to select another plane type here like a nsu 27 is fine and another payload like this one all right and then maybe another one for a randomization of payload and maybe skin level as well so it makes a real nice and fancy uh, mission okay so this one i'm gonna save as mission demo All right so i think now that I've set up all of this, we have more or less defined the core mechanisms for a working GCI cap. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly script something and then apply this uh, into this mission so you can see the GCI cap working. Um, don't get scared of the scripting. Um, I do have templates that you can use to actually, you know, where everything is predefined. But I, what I would like to show you is how to develop it when you would type it right from the from scratch because that's where you learn so the first thing i need to do is to define an object a reference to an object red and the only line you need to do now is to do this i'm using the gci cap module which is this one all right and then do double point new and then you see a lot of parameters right Forget cap, all of these are optional. So I can just delete them for the moment. And what we're gonna do is, you know, we did 
in the mission what we have edited was an EW1 network and a couple of templates. What I'm going to show you now is how to put the link of that one. So the EWR red, double click here, and then between quotes, cut and paste EWR red. Cut between quotes, no, put between quotes the squadron red, so the plane types that you have defined, and put that here. Right. So let me show you what new is all about. New is the constructor of the E of the AI air to air GCI cap module. This creates a new object of class AI uh, air to air GCI cap and puts it in this variable here, which is the reference variable. What this module will do, it will search your mission file for any ground unit or any airborne unit that starts with the group name EWR red and it will search for any no, then it will look for which are my air bases that I call it red right because my EWR network is on the red coalition it knows I need to model something for the red coalition so it's gonna search for each air base that is red and for those air bases it is then going to look do I find any templates with the name starting with squadron red within the parameter of the air bases? And that's it. And that creates for you a working GCI cap. And if you don't believe it, I can show you. So what I'm going to do now is do a test, a blue plane, like a Viggen, why not? Yeah, let's have some fun and do test plane. 001 and place it somewhere here. No, it's a bit too far. And from here, move it to here. Right? Yeah, that looks nice. From here to there. Perfect. And you let it start from a sufficient altitude so the the uh, EWR network is going to detect very quickly. Another thing is the EWR network. You want to make sure your your EWR uh, ground units are aligned to the direction from where you want to scan to. And all of these templates here are late activated. I'm just checking again for a second. This is fine. This is fine as well. Great. Now I still haven't loaded the mission, have I? So this is the last thing that I need to do. And for that, I need to create a trigger. It's just a very simple thing. Mission start. Load something. I don't know. Mission. New. Do script file. First thing I want to do is I want to open my Moose framework. And that's the Lua file, the Moose.Lua that you downloaded. Or you can find it in the mission setup directory of the Moose uh, package. Here, that's that, done. The next do script file, I need to get out of here, just to, I don't know why it does that. It's a bug, but uh, now I can do a new action again. And now I'm going to open my mission. Where do I find that? In my directory where I am modeling my mission, demo mission, not Lua. And that's loading the script that I have defined here. Well, I will redo that because I didn't save it. So it's very easy. I have this open. So again, double click and it's reloaded. Done. And now I'm going to play. So what you will see now immediately is that the blue plane, the Viggen is flying in the air. The EWR is doing its work. And a plane is now spawned from Pahoot Mesa Airstrip. How this logic works is very simple. This plane here is the target that has been identified and I got two air bases that form part of my air defense system. So the closest air base is where a GCI or an intercept will be launched from. And the intercept is flying, yeah, excuse me, here. Yeah, there you go. And it's using the weapons, it, it, it has selected one of the templates that I had defined. Remember, I had defined two 
and it's just selecting one and flying towards the target. So that's the uh, first step, the first video. I'm going to close this down and make a new video where I'm expanding upon this in, in a continuous iteration. Thank you for watching.